Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to my channel. Shannon here. I'm a tarot reader, a Western astrologer, and a channeler. And I want to channel some messages for you today. I'm going to use three different decks. I'm going to start with the Light Seer's Tarot, move on to the Divine Animal Oracle, and then end with some a little bit of wisdom from Buddha. I believe you are here to hear this message, Taurus. You stopped on this video for a reason. So thanks so much for listening. Like I said, I'm going to start with the Light Seer's Tarot and see what's coming through for you, Taurus. You have had some disruptions. Disruptions. You still have Uranus in your sign and it's going to be there for a while, a couple more years. We've had so much action. Uh, I have the sun in Taurus myself, so I have been feeling this. I actually have a stallion in Taurus, so like, yeah, I've been shaken up a little bit. I have felt this. I have felt this entire thing. It's I kinda, know. It's been good for me as unpleasant and as disruptive it's been at times. That fixed energy Taurus does not like to move as you know. So sometimes we have to be pushed forward by the universe. So let's see what card I pull for you. I'm going to pull one card from each deck. And just see what uh, the universe says to me about it. See what I channel through for y'all for it. See what we have. Okay, nice. So I got the six of wands. The six of wands is about going for your manifestations and just like going for the thing that you want. This is where you take everything that you've been doing and going for and actually put it all together and get it right this time, Taurus. Like, I know it's been disruptive. As I said, this is all for a purpose. I still have Uranus coming for my son. <laughs> so I get it. I get the feeling of that disruptive energy, that shocking energy that sometimes comes up. But you know what? We can grab this energy and use it and use it, okay? This is about taking control of your ability to manifest your own life. You actually create your life with your choices, with your thoughts, with your actions. And the universe wants you to know, Taurus, that you should be especially aware of your thoughts and actions right now, but really your thoughts because everything starts with the thought. Whatever you let kind of generate with inside your head, whatever you let get going. Sometimes we allow our thoughts to be pervasive. Sometimes we do get stuck on an idea. So part of this energy and part of the message from the universe to you is to don't let your brain get stuck. Don't let your mind get stuck on too many options or too many things or not enough things, whatever it is that it is that you're dealing with. Um, the universe just sends you some energy forward and says, hey, you will be able to accomplish this. Focus your energy. Be clear about what you want to the universe. We are entering a time period here in New Earth where things are going to manifest at a much higher rate than they ever have. We're living in the 3D. It is dense here, but the 5D where we are actually going to end up eventually is a it's a place where we manifest instantly. We think it and there it is. It's like when we are in our dream world and anything we're doing, if you've ever been able to lucid dream, you know what I mean. You know what it's like there where you pop into your dream and you think of it and there it is. There you are, there you have it. It's almost going to be like that, Taurus, as we progress through this earthly ascension process. The earth is physically moving faster. The flares from the sun are increasing. And as the solar system moves through space, we literally are moving into new areas that we have never been in before. Our planets, our entire galaxy is moving into some new places. It's upgrading everything. So part of this energy just tells you, pay attention to what you're creating and co-creating. The universe is right there for you. It will co-create all the things, good and bad. So when you start to focus your energy too much on something negative, you can manifest it into your life. Now, I want to be clear that this is different than, you know, being to blame for somebody harming you. If someone harms you or does something negative or bad to you, that's on them. That's their fault, not your fault. And I don't want you to confuse manifesting energy or experiences into your life with this is your fault now. We have experiences that occur to us. We subjectively feel like 
are not good. We don't like it. But our higher self is watching and knows everything and is tracking absolutely everything and using it for our best and highest purpose for our soul. So while you may experience crazy things right now, Taurus, just because the energy is trying to disrupt your soul and you may say to yourself, I definitely didn't want that. I definitely didn't want to manifest that. Your higher self's going to use it for your best good anyway. So this is where you try to get yourself into a state of gratitude about no matter what happened. I know this is a skill we have to get to and we are working on it during our earthly existence. Okay, so... Let's pull a little bit of Animal Oracle out here and see what archetype the universe wants to send you to support this message. Ah, okay. Pulls out the Jaguar. Release. Okay. The Jaguar. Release. And I'm going to actually read the book on this just to be clear about what the universe is actually trying to say here. The Jaguar. Release. Release what you no longer need. Take action to move something from the ideas world into the physical world. Let go of the old and stale and choose renewal. Wash away the negative aspects of the past, surrender it all and embrace the new. Isn't that what the universe is trying to get all of us to do right now? Just let go of the things that are no longer serving you. You know what those things are, you know mainly. And if you don't, this is your sign. <laughs> this is your message from the universe to figure that out. What is it that's holding you back. What is it that you need to release and let go out of your life so that you can bring some new energy in? That's the whole purpose of all these disruptions is to expand your soul and give you the experience that you actually needed here. Maybe it doesn't always feel like it's the one you want, but as I said earlier, it's the one you need. And if you can get into a state of trust and surrender to the universe, then you will be able to see this. Okay, so let's get a little wisdom from Buddha. I have these beautiful little oracle cards um, that have uh, some Buddha wisdom, divine feminine and divine masculine Buddha wisdom. And I'm gonna say this, don't let worldly temptations lead you astray. This is probably good advice for you, Taurus, <laughs> because we like worldly temptations, right? Taurus, we like the worldly things, we like the earthly things, we like things that are pleasurable, the things that feel good, all of that can be super distracting to us, Taurus, can it not? I think you may relate with this. So in this wider message of like what to do is just like be surrendered and follow the thing that the universe is like trying to get you to go toward. Also, pay attention to those worldly temptations and don't let yourself get pulled into all of that too, too much. You know what I mean? We've also got Jupiter in Taurus right now. Jupiter is making all the things in Taurus bigger, potentially. We want to spend more. We want to eat more, more sex, more money. Give it to me, universe, right? That's what we're saying right now. So this is a little bit of a reminder. Pay attention to your excesses right now, Taurus, because potentially you could go a little bit too far uh, with all this energy in your sign. Okay, so here's this last little bit of wisdom from Buddha. How many holy words you speak and what good will they do if you do not act upon them? Interesting. So to me, what this is really saying is like, um, you can say what you're gonna do about something all you want, or like, hey, here's my plan. I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do this. Unless you actually do the thing, it's not gonna happen, you know? So you have to move that energy of yours, Taurus. That fixed energy sometimes waits and pauses and wants to be sure, I wanna be sure, I wanna be safe. And this wisdom says, you know what? Say it, speak it, and then do it. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter what you say. It's what you do. Thanks so much for watching, Taurus. Really appreciate your energy. Please give this video a like if it's helped you in any way. If anything I said resonated, I would love to know in the comments below. Where are you tuning in from? I'd like to hear that too. See you next time.